we saw a couple of people protesting at that event, but there appears to be at, at a point where the principal, you know, uh, Mr. Peter B appealed for calm. Now, we also saw another scenario, but you know, I, I believe you were sitting at Dino Melayo's back. There appeared to be a scenario where uh, Mr. Peter B told me, Dino Melaya to stop saying something that uh, obviously got appeared to be distracting him. And the moment that happened, this morning we saw Dino Melaya release a video, which I'm going to show you, and I will be wanting your reaction to in this a moment, video. I am in this video just to clarify the outburst by Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of Labour Party yesterday. It was not provoked. <laughs> I was sitting far opposite the top um, seat where they were sitting. I didn't mention his name. And I was really surprised to see that type of outburst from a presidential candidate. Is that the type of president is going to make? Just taking on people and showing on presidential characteristics. The way he acted yesterday was very, very, he rather called me out because there was no way um, I didn't do anything. I didn't call his name. I didn't, I mean, where I was sitting, there's nothing I would have <laughs> said that Obi would have said. And there was nothing. I didn't do anything. So that outburst is unwarranted, very unpresidential, unacceptable of a leader. A leader must be matured. One who wants to govern this country must be accommodating must have a lot of patience, must have perseverance. These are basic characteristics of leadership anywhere in the world. You want to be president of Nigeria and you are reacting in such a manner in public. Uh, this one will slap ADC for office as president. So okay. I want to clear the air that there was nothing, I didn't do anything to him. He was so provoked and so carried away by the performance of Okowa that he was saying that somebody outside is from ANPP. Does that make any sense? Is there any party like ANPP in Nigeria today? Okay, now, sitting down there, obviously you know Dino Malaya very well, but sitting down there, understanding what transpired yesterday, what would be your reaction? Yes, Mr. Peter B was reacting to the heckling by Mr. Dino Melaye, when some members of the PRP made some protestations, and uh, Dino Melaye was saying, These are Labour Party people, Labour Party, Labour Party, obedience. So Mr. Pito being interjected to say, Why are you always referring to Labour and obedience? The man who made the remark, the people made the remark uh, of the PRP, they actually came with Mr. Kola Abiola. And also to tell you, the real fracas you saw at the beginning were as a reaction to the words of Dini Melayo. Dini Melayo said, when we asked, where is Mr. Atiku? He said, cannot come here. Atiku is too big. Atiku will only come here if Tinubu comes here. This is not his crowd. So you see, you know Dini Melayo, in Nigeria is seen as a comedian. And such behavior uh, that he puts up uh, would not be tolerated by a lot of people. So I think uh, when the heckling and his sustained pronouncement of Labour Party people, obedience, obedience, really got to Mr. Peter Obi, who noticed that the people, Dino Malaye, were calling obedience, were actually supporters of the PRP candidates. They were wearing PRP shirts and caps. So Mr. Peter B now said, why is Dino Melaya always calling my name? The people who are saying this thing are of the PRP. They came with Mr. Kola Biodo. Well, and that was what kept Dino in check. Dino Melaya, as we know, is one of the boyfriends of Mr. Tika Bobaka. And we know his behavior is not uh, a very good uh, one to write him about. And I think uh, Mr. Peter B did very well to call him to order. We don't think that his behavior should be acceptable. 
the way he overcarries himself needs to be condemned. And I do believe Mr. Pitobi was in the right to have said what he said. Because the minute Mr. Pitobi called out that Dino Milaye sustained heckling of Pitobi, calling obedience, calling everybody that says anything, uh, Pitobi's people, uh, it's in order. Because after Pitobi reprimanded him, Dino Milaye now kept quiet and did not make any more noise. I believe other candidates should also stop Dilu Milaye from such unacceptable behavior. Well, thank you very much for that clarification. Now, you, there was a tweet today because you said something now that uh, Dino, you know, you referred to Dino as Atiku's boyfriend. And today, if the former minister of aviation, uh, in the person of uh, Femi Fanny Coyote made same allusion. Are both of you driving to something? No, no, no. We're just being descriptive of the nature of the relationship they have. Uh, as far as I do not have any any qualms about relationships, uh, anybody has every right to choose who he wants to be his friend. Uh, we, the, the nation knows, you know, to have a relationship with Mr. Tika Abubakar. Uh, so if you hear several people mention it, it is because that's a fact. Dino Milaye, it's not fit uh, for the roles that he seems to be playing in public. He is, uh, is a clown, is a comedian, and he doesn't have it. And even when he tried to talk to me yesterday, I reminded him that uh, he's talking to me, that he shouldn't forget I am catch on Onuju. I am not his type. Uh, that those who defeated and humiliated him uh, could not do anything with me. Uh, I'm a public speaker. He also has been in the public space, but we do not belong to the same class. Uh, Dino Malaya was humiliated by those who couldn't do anything with me. Dino does not know his ways when it comes to public speaking. He's more of a comedian than a public speaker. And uh, I believe he has every right to keep the relationship the way he wants. So if you hear several Nigerians mentioning him uh, for who he is, that's because that's who he is. Uh, he does not add value to the PDP's uh, uh, stable of speakers. He comes across as a clown, and we believe he's put there simply because of uh, the nature of the relationship he has with Mr. Tika Bubaka. Mm. If we